Hello, so today is Midsummer's Day and we promised we'd return to our wizard staff that we started to make at the beginning of this year. And as you can see, it's now covered in all these fantastic signs of time from nature, which is how we can tell the time in fairyland. And at the beginning of the year, when you made this stick, you would have just put on the silver bands. Remember, they represented the full moons and the gold bands represented the sun festivals, the two equinoxes. Today's obviously summer solstice, midsummer's day and the winter solstice down at the end of the stick here. And these bits of rag um, represented the old Celtic festivals of um, Imolc and Beltane and Lammas and Halloween. So we're going to have a closer look at the top of our staff and we can just catch up on all the things that have happened so far this year. So let's remind ourselves um, about our wizard staff. So as you can see, the silver band here was the first full moon um, of the year. And just before that, we saw some hazel catkins coming out in the hedgerows before any of the leaves came out. And then shortly followed uh, in the new moon, which is Imolc, or actually also the Chinese New Year, the snowdrops have started to come out and also these beautiful um, primroses, which are very easy to grow in your garden and have lots of fairy folklore uh, associated with them, said to mark the doorways to fairyland um, and much loved by bees too. And then here, these other redder catkins, this would have been the older catkins, again before the leaves are out. And then another very early flower, here is a fantastic dandelion. Um, which comes out here, this was kind of early March, we started to see dandelions just after that uh, March full moon. And look, here it was uh, our first bumblebee. This is a white-tailed bumblebee queen, and she would have been hibernating all winter. And she's obviously looking for nectar from such flowers as the primrose and the dandelion. And another wildflower, this is <laughs> not very good representation, but this is a red dead nettle, uh, full of nectar, a little wild plant that pops up all over the place. So these three are flowers very key to our early bumblebee. Then we're coming in here to the spring equinox, which was obviously March the 22nd. And um, oh yes, here, of course, in Norfolk, this black and white feather, that represents the first avocet that we saw um, sort of flying into this country. And yes, sorry, back to here. This is black form blossom. Quite late this year, after well after the um, spring equinox, more into late March, and um, that you'll recognise if you're driving around and you see all those white blossoms on the um, hedgerows. That's uh, blackthorn, and then this brown feather here uh, was the first curlew that we saw again in Norfolk, coming in, and here we have uh, the brimstone butterfly. It's slightly pale green on the underside and they again are very early insects um, early butterflies coming into this country and here we have the cowslips so this is now we're in kind of early april cowslips again great fairy flower uh lots of stories and um, especially in shakespeare ariel used to sleep in one in um, the tempest and then through to um late April we start to get a bit of leaf break quite late this year because it was cold. Uh, we've got the hawthorn is normally the first one to come out and then shortly followed here by um, hazel, we've got some birch, apple and last is off as is often the case is the oak tree, it's often the last one to come out into leaf. And around about the end of April we also saw some sweet violets in the woods. And uh, here, this blue, lovely dark blue feather here represents the first swallow that we saw. So we're coming now into um, May and we would have seen some buttercups in the flowery meadows. And also quite late actually this year with the bluebells. Um, they really didn't come out until, well, yes, uh, early well early May when often they're sometimes over by that time so they were very late this year and then next we're coming up to the May full moon very late this year end of May which is Beltane and 
Then we saw these red campions coming out in our garden and the May blossom, which again actually came out in very late May, often it's mid-May. Some, some May blossom in, in some parts of the country is really, really coming out in early June, which is quite unusual. And now we're coming into June here, coming up to where we are now, the, this gold band is the um, midsummer solstice. Here we are today and our beautiful solstice daisies, aptly named, have been out this past week as of course have our beautiful poppies. Again, very easy um, wildflowers to grow in your garden. And this obviously because it isn't everything, it's just what we've spotted and um, I've made sort of representations and tied them on to the wizard staff as we go along. So here we are at midsummer and um, the last flower to add I've made a, is this beautiful foxglove. It's a, a woodland um, wildflower. Again, you can grow it in your garden and it's got it's full of fairy folklore it's said to be you know the fairies favorite flower they, lots of tales about how they like to sleep in them and they've got these little landing spots with, to guide the insects in for the nectar and pollen um also said to be the fairy footprints so i've made one here out of just some old toilet roll and a bit of paint and a, a egg box carton so i'm going to now uh, tie this on on midsummer on the midsummer band just there <laughs> Okay, now Olive, get down. It's a bit easier without the help of the staffy. You sit there. Anyway, um, so <laughs> very nosy. Olive, get down. As you can see, I'm just going to tie it on here. Okay. We're going to tie it on here. There you go. And here's our wizard stuff up to date so far to the midsummer, it's in midsummer day. So you can see there's going to be a, gen, a June full moon in a couple of days time and then again again in late July and this one's late August which is Lamas. So between midsummer and now you're going to see lots of um, meadow wildflowers coming out so you'll be able to make those and tie them onto your staff and obviously that'll attract some more butterflies and insects that we'll be able to add for next time. And then obviously going through into autumn, various uh, berries will start to come out and um, through obviously to the winter solstice right at the end there, where we'll give you another update then.